Morning, Signature Signers. Just checking in on you guys. Just uh, thought I'd give you a little summary of my day so far and the last couple days since uh, I haven't checked in. Uh, you know, I'm always just trying to give you guys little tidbits of what I'm doing in hopes that maybe something I say will help uh, you incorporate what I'm doing into your own business to allow you the successes that I've been able to have. Um, already done a thousand dollars this month and it's only the fifth so that's not a bad start um, today did a quick seller signing took one of my local notaries out with me he just got his license Aaron Circle what's up buddy I know you're on signature signings and uh, boom we're in and out of there in 20 minutes made 175 bucks easy money um, Little thing I just wanted to reach out to you guys and talk about is perception. Perception is key to uh, your clients. They like to know that you're professional. Uh, you need a dress professional. Polo shirt's fine. You know, button down. You know, uh, try and just allow yourselves to appear to be something more than what you are. Be bigger. If you guys have noticed, if you've seen any of my emails or anything, I'll take a picture of it and add it to this post later on. But my company is Signature Signings. And at some point, I'm going to allow you guys the opportunity to be to represent Signature Signings as well if you choose to. If not, you can still keep uh, your company name and become an affiliate of Signature Signings just as a way to... Uh, you know, add value to your business. But like I said before, perception's key. Let, even though you may only be one person, make people think that you're something bigger than just who you are. That, that means branding yourself or, you know, coming up with like an 866 number, which I have a couple of them that I'm going to be uh, allowing you guys to be part of as well. One of them is 866 Sig Sign, which is for signature signings, the name of my company. I also just bought another number. I can't think of what it is off the top of my head, but the catch, the custom number is MBLNTRY, Mobile Notary. And I believe it's an 877 number that I'll be allowing you guys to use as well once you uh, become affiliated with signature signings. I'm just putting the final touches right now on rolling that out so I can get you guys all set up and on board. Uh, it just takes too much time to do it over the telephone and uh, one person at a time. So eventually I'll have the website set up and system where you guys can just go and do that all online. It's gonna be really inexpensive. Um, another thing that I wanna talk to you guys about is plant those seeds. You know, when I'm not out doing loan settings, I'm bouncing around from title companies to lenders, uh, meeting with real estate agents, any way I can get my face in front of those people. And, you know, in the beginning, it's going to be, it probably will be a little awkward at first. You know, you're out of your comfort zone, but you start to show up a couple times, people are going to start recognizing you. Uh, you know, there's a, a big county realtors meeting that happens here in Sacramento where I live. Yeah, I live in Placer County. It's called the PCAR, Placer County Association of Realtors. And you can look for these uh, little groups online and find out where they're at. Hi, Sharon. Anyways, try and get into these groups and just uh, start showing your face. They have, Sometimes they have little breakfast or something. Sometimes you can actually sponsor the meeting and bring in coffee and donuts and have an opportunity to stand up for three minutes and say who you are and what you do. And once you start putting your face out there and you start showing up to these same networking events that all these other realtors and lenders are showing up to, you won't even need escrow officers because you'll just be building the relationships with the people that are actually establishing the connection with the escrow officers. The realtors are the ones that decide what title company they're going to go with for their buyers or sellers, uh, typically the buyer, I believe. Uh, but you build those relationships and you say, you know what? My name's so-and-so, Notary Public, and I want your business. I want to be there for all of your closings. And eventually, you know, you build that relationship after they've seen your face enough times. 
they're going to start telling their title people, hey, I have a preferred signing agent. That is you. Uh, just so happened a year ago, I did a random refinance signing for an attorney. Had no idea I was planting a seed when I went out to that guy's house. But obviously, I made an impression on him. I gave, I always give my business card to anybody that I uh, meet with. Say, if you ever need a notary, give me a call. This guy owns his whole law firm here in the Sac or here in Rockland, uh, and he sent me an email the just two days ago and said, "Hey, I just had my paralegal quit on me. They were the one that did the. Uh, they were the notary in the office, and they did all of our signings, and." Uh, I don't want to hire anybody else for that. I just rather go through you now. So pretty much all my signings or all of his signings that need to be notarized, any type of legal documents, they're going to, from this point on, call signature signings, which I think is awesome. And I had no idea I was even do, uh, planting that seed, but I'm super excited to have his business. And the great thing is I've created a network of other notaries that... Even if I'm not available, I can pass that work along to them and so on and so forth. Once they become successful to the point that they've achieved more business or gained more business than they can uh, do, then they're going to pass that on to me if I'm available. And uh, so networking is key, guys. You try and build those relationships with people that are like-minded like you. Uh, other signing agents, they aren't your enemies. Don't look at them as your enemies. Look at them as your ally. You're only one person to be at one place at one time. I used to walk into the title offices. I'd be like, oh, look at that signing agent. Uh, what are they doing here? I want that work. But I was already in there doing a signing anyways. You know, it's not like I would have been able to do the same signing they were. And they're, I'm sure they're successful at times and they have get more work than they can do. So why not build that relationship with them so that when they're not available... They can tell their EO, you know what? If I'm not available, call this signing agent. He might be able to uh, take the job. And that way you guys can pass work to and from each other. And I've done that a lot of times with uh, a lot of my notary signing agents that I work with. Anyways, I don't want to make this forever long. I'm just throwing some little tidbits out there to you guys. Just always be professional. Do your best. Always keep educated, stay motivated, keep feeding the minds with knowledge and power. Hope you all have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.